Okay, let's have a little look at this then. So in true Grand Designs fashion, there's always a problem, isn't there? And we've got a problem on one of these strings. So these uh, solar tiles are installed a year or two before we got involved, um, but we've connected them up into our two six stacks, one at either side of the room. And we've got, this is the only string we've got a problem on. We had voltage there and now we don't. So what I reckon it is, is some issues with the solar tile connections between the solar tiles themselves, because they've got little connections that join them together. So they're just in series all the way along, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way back around. So I've got the two ends, one here and one down there. I'd already pre-tested all my cabling because I thought it must be something I've done because we had voltage there before, but now we don't. So I'll show you what we have got and what we should have. Let's zoom in and have a little look. Okay, so I've got these two isolators here. I've taken this one off so I can show you what a healthy string should look like. So I'm not gonna do my insulation resistance test because I've already done all of that. I just wanna show you the voltage for now. So what I've got is in this, in these right hand uh, flex conduits, I've got my input cables. So they're, they're coming from the solar tiles. In this left hand uh, flex conduit, that's going on the output side to the C energy batteries. So if I test my uh, outgoing side, I think that's that, my incoming side, sorry. Can get the right one. Yeah, we get the right one. So that comes round. That one and that one. There we go. The only combination didn't try. There we go. 360 odd volts. So that's what the healthy string should be. I can't remember how many tiles that is in series, but I think it's about 15 or 20. Um, so if I do the same on this side here, so we've got them ones, make sure I get the right ones. So it's that one. Yeah, it's the same again. See there, I've got three, three volts, which is just interference on the meter. So I've basically got nothing. Um, so <clears throat> that is our problem. We're gonna try and find now where that connection is. And I can almost put money on it being a connection in between uh, some of the tiles. Hopefully it's just one. Hopefully it's just one. Please be only one. So yeah, let's have a look and see if we can find it. The guys have actually gone up onto the roof because they're a nice little box gutter. So they've gone around there to remove a couple of these tiles, just trying to find, hopefully that loose connection. So we might be able to see them working along there. Okay, so we're on to the fault finding stage of this now. So what we've done is we've actually made this uh, fly lead. So this, this has been passed back up through onto the roof. They've removed this first uh, roof tile, this solar tile. And then what we're doing is we are, uh, we split the system in half so that this then goes to the central point down the roof. So now what I can do is I can test between this cable and the one that's still connected to the negative and they can then move that along until we actually start to get a voltage. So at the minute we have zero volts, they've just plugged this into half of the, uh, half the panel, uh, half the system. So we're gonna see what voltage we've got there. So let's have a look. Okay, cool. So yeah, so we've got, we've got about 155-ish volts on that. So we know that that half that they're testing is the, is the good half. So just try the other half. Yeah, the other half is dead. So we know that, the, that with them swapping those plugs around, that one half of the array is working, the other half isn't. So now we can add more of the t solar tiles in that are on the non-working side to start to reduce the amount of tiles that we're not sure if they're working or not. So now we're gonna half the side that's not working and see and see what happens there. So um, we're gonna do that now. So yeah, if you add those ones in. Yeah, so we've added about an extra 50, 60 volts, which they're about 10 volts per, about 10 volts per tile. So that's, that's good. So we know that those ones are okay. So we're gonna add some more in. Right, if you have the next ones in. Ah, okay, so now they've had another couple of tiles in and that's dropped to zero. So that for me, says that one or two of those tiles 
is basically is disconnecting the string because now I've not got a circuit. Mm -hmm. So they've plugged in my fly lead onto the say outgoing side of that of that solar tile, which basically means now that that solar tile is blocking that circuit or cut, has cut that circuit. So we're back in an open circuit situation. So yeah, uh, if you remove that tile and just bridge it. Yeah, there we go. So we've got 330 volts. So yeah, so we're about up to the full string voltage here. So what they've done, what, the, what they've done now is they've taken that, that tile out, uh, or they might, they might still be there, but they've bridged uh, the gap. So they've added all the rest of the tiles in now, but bridged that one that was faulty. So now they're gonna go get a spare one, which they've got some, put that in place, and then we're gonna see if that has actually fixed the full string. So let's have a look and see if that works. Okay, so the guys have um, changed that tile and I won't try and deceive you all that I haven't tested it yet, because I have. So I know this has now fixed it, but I'll show you this now. So uh, that new tile is in. Got our measurement. So I don't know if you can see that, we've got 340 volts now, roughly. It's come down a little bit, it's getting a bit dark. So yeah, that's now fixed. So we've gone from zero to 340 odd volts, all because of one panel. I'm gonna show you that panel out there, or tile. So here it is. Here is the offending article. So this is a uh, 60 watt, 60 watt tile, solar tile. And um, this is one of the challenges of the solar tiles is that you just have so many of them. And so the failure rate on them can be a bit higher because you've just got so many, or the chances of failure are, are higher because you've got so many. See there, we've just got the positive and uh, the negative and positive coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my tester in. And then spin it to the light and we'll see if it is indeed dead. It'd be embarrassing if it's not. Yeah, completely dead. So we've got zero, zero volts, 0, 0 volts coming in meaning this, this is completely dead. And it's not only completely dead, is it's because it's 0, 0.0, it's, it, it, it won't even be letting any voltage go through. So that is, uh, that is one faulty solar tile that was causing that full string to be turned off. So yeah, that is that job done and that string now operating. Happy days.